All right, so welcome in poker. Okay, so I'm going to assume we're gonna have 52 card deck. And the idea behind this is because when you're studying combinations, so when you're doing any kinds of counting um, and then you get into probabilities, which are you know kind of useful to start thinking about, um, this uh, poker concept of um, you know what hand you might be dealt and then the probabilities that are associated with it are super kind of useful to force yourself into thinking in terms of that combination counting. So here's your 52 poker playing cards that you will have. So if you haven't seen it, you know, you have four uh, suits, so clubs, diamonds, hearts, spades, and then you have 13 different kind. So from an ace, two, three, four, five, so on up to a jack, uh, queen, and king, and there's four of them each. So if you do the 13 times four, you're gonna get your 52 cards. Now, I have uh, kind of copied this, okay? So from so I'm giving a reference there just below, so you can see that, so that was from uh, Math uh, CS, okay? Where they actually had this nice image, which just gives you the cards in advance. And my idea in this video is going to be to introduce you to all the different poker hands that kind of matter. And then, you know, in future videos, I'm going to actually show, you know, how do you count the number of combinations that you have of each of those poker hands, all right? So the poker hands, you know, that I am referring to, and again, now this one, I'm actually kind of copying all of these images from Wikipedia, which someone has, uh, someone, probably many people have contributed to, so that was on the poker probabilities. So it starts from kind of the royal flush, you know, straight flush, four of a kind, and so on. So I'll try to explain these in a moment. But before we try to explain these, you know, I want to answer this one simple question, is when you're studying combinations, you should be able to answer this question. So, you know, you have 52 different cards, and when you're drawing a poker hand of five cards, you know, there might be poker hands of different, I'll assume that we'll just have five, then how many different combinations or how many different hands can you be dealt, all right? So this question is um, on the easier side in terms of combinations. So, you know, if you have, so let's say one, two, you know, three, four, and five, right? Because you're gonna be dealt, uh, kind of uh, five cards from a deck of 52, then how many different types of, types of hands or combinations do you have? Well, you know, you can do your regular uh, ordered counting that, you know, if you receive your first card, you know, there are 52 uh, different types of cards that you might receive, right? If you receive your second card, you might, you know, get 51 because now you've already had one, and then it would be 50 and then 49, and then 48. Now, uh, the order actually doesn't matter here, right? So this would have been really, okay, so what I have done here is I have 52 cards, you know, and then I am taking the permutations um, between five of those cards. But since the order is irrelevant when we're drawing a card, so it doesn't matter which one we get first or last, then we know by combinations, okay, we're gonna have to divide this, okay, by the number, okay, of here, okay, so different ways that we can order these, so that would have been five factorial, or simply, this just simply means, you know, out of 52, we are choosing five cards, and that, okay, is going to give us exactly the number. Now, if you've forgotten about the combinations, okay, I did an introduction and then some samples. I'll put up a link up above there in case you've forgotten it. But this is the, the ultimate question. So that's how many possible hands there are. And that's actually quite a lot because if we would do this, so, you know, this is equal to, so 52 factorial divided by, and this is going to be, um, I guess, 47 factorial because it's 52 minus... Uh, five, and then five factorial, and that five factorial is coming from right here, okay? And if we do that, you know, I can certainly put all of that in. I actually don't have a, a, a choose calculator uh, button in here, but I do have, you know, so 52 factorial divided by, and this is going to be 47 factorial, you know, times five factorial, 
all in brackets. And that is the total number. So that's 2,598,960 different types of hands that we might be dealt. And of course, we need the total number of hands if we ever wanna find out what the probability of something is, okay? So that's the first step. So we have our cards, okay? This is the total number of hands that we might be dealt with. And now it is you know, worthwhile to try to understand what all of these are. So I'm gonna to try to explain them. And then we'll get into future videos on actually counting, you know, how many possibilities of each of these there are. So here it is. The first one is a royal flush. So a royal flush is simply means that you have, okay, um, been dealt five cards. And if you're lucky enough, you'll get a 10, okay, you'll get a jack, you'll get a queen, you'll get a king, and then you'll get an ace. But the important part is what makes it a royal flush is that these are all of the same suit. So they could be either hearts, okay? They could be all diamonds, okay? Um, they could be all spades and so on. So that is a royal flush that we would have, okay? So that's the understanding of a royal flush and it's actually very rare to be able to get that. A straight flush, okay, so right here, which is the next rarest thing that happens, it's kind of like a royal flush, except now, okay, the straight flush means that you can have the cards in order, okay, of the same suit, and they're rising in order, but not necessarily, you know, the 10, jack, queen, king, and ace. So for instance, you know, maybe it would have been in poker, you actually can have something like this, where the ace can act both as a one or as the highest card. So it could have been an ace, a two, a three, a four, and a five. So that is a straight. So notice an ace, two, three, four, five is a straight. And what makes it a flush is the fact that all of these would have been of the exactly the same suit. And there are many of these kind of straights that you can get, okay, and then so you can go from, for example, it could have been, you know, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. It's still a straight. And then if they are of the same suit, okay, as so, then that makes it a straight flush. And that could have been anything. So as the example here shows, for instance, notice that they had a four, a five, a six, a seven, an eight, which is a straight. And what makes it a flush is that they're all exactly of the same suit. So that's a straight flush. Now, four of a kind is a little bit easier to understand because you basically mean, okay, or you basically get four of exactly the same kind and then the fifth card doesn't really matter. It's an arbitrary card. So in here they have, you know, four aces and then they would have a four, okay? Um, that's what they showed, but it could have been four aces and it could have been a king. Okay, or a queen or a jack, it doesn't matter. Four of a kind just means that you had four of exactly the same kind. And that could have been four jacks, could have been four queens, could have been four kings, okay, and so on um, that we have in here. So that's four of a kind right there. A full house is interesting because a full house means that you have three of the same kind Okay, so you have three of exactly the same kind, plus you got dealt two other cards that were also of the same kind. So you had two kinds, and that's what makes it a full house. So here the example is that you got three eights and then two kings, as so. So that would have been a full house. And it doesn't have to be just eights and kings. You know, we could have had, for instance, three aces. And then maybe let's say two queens. That's also a full house, all right? So any combination of that makes it a full house, three of a kind and two of a kind, okay? So that's your full house. A flush, well, we've talked about a straight flush, right? And then a royal flush. So those are particular flushes. Now in here, when you say a flush, Okay, and you remove the word the straight, that means they're not in exactly the order that you want from in, an increasing order 
as we had in here, where there you know, could have been a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, and of the same suit. So the only thing that you really want in here is that the suit is the same, okay? But they're not necessarily in the same um, kind of order as that straight flush, okay? So this is just a flush, okay? Assuming that the suit is the same. So you got five cards and those five cards of exactly the same suit. Now, if it turned out that all the cards, okay, are actually in straight order, so let, whatever that order might be, maybe a royal flush, then you just have a royal flush. It wouldn't just be a flush, okay? So that's something, and notice in here, they actually tell you, well, this excludes the royal flush and the straight flush because that is a lot rarer to come by. Um, then next, you know, you can get a straight, so a straight, you understand that it, you know, it's card five cards in order. So in this case, it's a seven, eight, nine, ten, and a jack. But they're not necessarily of the same suit. And if they're not of the same suit, then we just call it a straight, okay? And that would exclude the royal flush and again, the straight flush, okay? So that would have been that. Three of a kind, again, much simpler. So unlike a full house, where full house, you need the other two cards to also be of the same kind. Here, three of a kind just simply means you got three of a kind and the other two cards are kind of two different cards, okay? Or two different kinds that you have. Um, two pairs, well, two pairs are, you know, nice and easy to understand. So you have, you know, two pairs of meaning. So in this case, for instance, they show you a three and a three. And let's say maybe a six and a six. And then the last card, you know, could be any card. Um, so long as it doesn't make it, you know, a full house or something. So it can't be a three or a six right here. It can be anything else but three or a six. Okay. Um, and now in here, you know, it could have been also, you know, a two and a two, ace and an ace, you know, queen and a queen, maybe jack and a jack. But as long as you have that, that means the third card cannot be one of those. All right, so that's two pair. The last one is just one pair, so where you just get one pair, and then the other three cards are all different. All right, so they're completely different that you have. Okay, so within this one, okay, so this would have been, you know, if we had, so for instance, you know, five and a five, that means none of these can be a five, so none of these can be a five. All right, so it can be anything, so maybe a six. But then now the other two, that means that it can't be a five or a six. So, you know, so maybe, I don't know, maybe a seven or something, okay? And then the last one could be maybe an ace. So they all have to be different because if they're the same, right, then maybe we would have gotten a three of a kind um, or maybe we would have got two pairs or something like that. And then the last thing is, is, you know, it's called the high card, which means... You didn't get anything that we talked about at the moment. You know, you have all different cards and really your highest card is, you know, the card that kind of makes your um, hand worthwhile. All right. So in here, the last one means all cards are actually different. Okay. So they're not the same. Okay. So that's an explanation, okay, of all the different poker cards that are the typical ones. Um, that you talk about in a you know, five-card poker. Um, and now the idea will be to try to um, answer, you know, how many combinations of these actually exist? You know, so if I say royal flush, well, how many royal flushes are there, okay, that you can possibly get? Or if I say four of a kind, you know, how many four of a kind can you get? And what I'm going to do is, so this is the introduction video, Okay, I'm going to link a playlist up above here and it's going to have every single one of these okay, explained in terms of how do you come up with the combinations, how many of them are there. And once you have that, you know, then you can calculate a probability because it's number of combinations divided by the total, right? And you can, of course, multiply it by 100% if you want uh, to be as a percent, but that's what have been the probabilities there. All right, so thanks for watching and we will see you, I guess, in all the future videos um, once they do go up. And just a final note, you know, so these links, 
put as the time of the recording. So if you know if you're looking at this years down the line when the videos were made, you know maybe they're still not around. But I do want to thank okay the people who contributed to these uh, because it made my life a little bit easier instead of me you know doing these already. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye everybody.